So with this video I'm going to show you how to use the star tool in Illustrator. First thing you need to do is to click on the shape tool which is over here on the left in the toolbox and scroll down to star tool. Now the default uh, number of points for a star is 5 so if you click and drag you'll find that you get a 5 pointed star there. But if you just click onto your artboard without dragging you'll get this dialog box which uh, helps you uh, adjust the number of points in the star. So you can um, scroll that up to however many points you like and just click OK or you can just type in the number of points that you'd like and click OK and that gives you another kind of star. Now I'm just going to use this one as a basis so I will copy that. I'm just copying and pasting this one. So another thing you can do to make your stars more interesting is to move the um, anchor points around. So for example you can just click on one of the anchor points and pull it out and you can click on other anchor points and drag them in or you can just um, individualize your star in that way. You can make whatever shape you like that way. Another way you can individualize or redesign your star is to uh, round the corners. Hmm. So to round the corners you go to, you have your star selected and then you go effect and stylize and round corners and with the preview bu button ticked um, you can decide on how many uh, pixels you'd like to adjust the corners. So you could take it up to 20 and you can see that things are getting quite round here or even 30. And click OK and that's the effect that you'll get. The next, uh, so that's round corners, I might just type that in. The next one that I'll look at is feather. Uh, so feathering your star can make some interesting results too. So you just click on the star, go effect, stylize feather and once again click the preview button and you'll see that you can use these uh, arrows here to adjust the amount of feathering that you have on your shape. That's another way. Oops. Another way is to use the pucker and or bloat filter and I'm just going to keep copying these now. Okay, so the pucker, blo uh, the pucker filter is in the distort and transform pucker and bloat and you can see here well, you get a sense of what bloat is going to be like but if you go to pucker, if you put it down the side of the scale you get some interesting results there. And so here we'll show you the bloat side. You see it kind of goes out in a more floral presentation there. And of course you can combine these. Uh, you can imagine having a bloat filter on a rounded cornered star and you get some even more interesting results. You can also twist. by just entering an angle there, um, say a 90 degree angle, you see you can get a nice twist there um, and of course you can um, make that as strong or as not as you like. Let's twist. And the last one that I thought I'd show you is the zigzag. Do that here. filter and that's also under effects distort and transform and it also has some interesting results you just need to play a little bit with these sliders here and you can create some interesting effects. So there's no reason to have a plain five-pointed star anymore. Hope you enjoyed that.